I hope that one of the results of this conference will be to strengthen every one of us individually to speak out forcefully and to use whatever influence we can marshal to bring about improvements in the treatment of women. Religious and civic leaders, human rights defenders, and scholars from around the world came to the Carter Center for three days in June to challenge people of faith to stand up for women's rights and demand equality for everyone. God cannot be God if God is unjust. It is as simple as that. So we were searching for justice, we were searching for equality, we were searching for compassion, and we found that in the Quran. If we are equal in the eyes of God, how come we're not equal in the eyes of men in this world? In Africa, there's a lot of suppression. There's a lot of discrimination for women. For the first time in Liberian history, we had 14 women represented in the national legislature. Mm -hmm. And it all because of the effort that women said our voices need to be heard. I, being a person of faith in a democratic culture, I expect to use my voice and to be required to use my voice. And I find our text mandating that I use my voice in the gifts that I'm given. You don't hide your gifts. What women do, I think, probably best, is have lived experience that informs how they engage in the world. And when we share our stories together, then we develop power to create change because it's based in reality. There is a piece of joy. There is joy is released when we touch the pain of our time. Many people think that there is no large scale problem with human trafficking or slavery. As we look at trafficking overall worldwide, trafficking is the number two criminal enterprise in the world, uh, second only to guns. And if there's ever an opportunity for the faith community to come together and end modern day slavery, it's now. People can feel very discouraged. They can feel like this is how it always is. Don't be politically naive. These are situations of, that are just culturally um, resonant and nothing's ever going to change. And so often the interruptive voices of women aren't honored. But a conference like this says, no, pay attention to the interruption. We learn new ideas, best practices, and then when we go back home, we will be able to approach our local work with more confidence, knowing that um, uh, we're not alone. I know you call on the Carter Center to play a role, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that makes us not fearful, but proud. And we'll do the best we can. The courageous, effective, heroic people that come to this meeting. Right now, we're really celebrating um, new, a new collaboration and a new way forward.